Later, dude. Bye, Minnesota. What do you have to say? Later. <laughs> We've landed. And this is going to take four or five hours. We're in the way back of the plane. Also, Jesse's not here yet. Yeah. So we got to wait like an hour. That's hot. Let me just jump in quick and then we'll oh, okay. do it as we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up? Holy bruh? fuck. <laughs> what's up, man? All right, well, I, now I gotta didn't go. put the seat down, so <laughs> we're, we're back here on the floor. Yee yee! Arizona. <laughs> and it is nice weather here compared to Minnesota. Made it to the hotel just to leave again because we got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> we found we found a sweet place that we can rent some quads from. So we're gonna go out into the sand dunes. Oh, It'd be my first time, actually all of our first time. So this should be fun and I'm excited. We're virgins. Oh, here we are in Yuma getting the quads, going out to have some fun. <clears throat> so if any of you are in Yuma, Arizona, come check out Gent Rent. These guys have all kinds of toys and the price is perfect for what you get. So come check them out, they'll take care of you. Time for a freaking blast. Right?
Okay, so right here is unfortunately where I have to stop the GoPro footage because it fucking died. And I missed the whole entire accident, but if you look right here, that's the Razorback that Jesse flew off of. And he ended up hitting the ground, nose first, and the handlebar stuck him in the leg. Started gushing blood, it was super scary, and I had to run back and get help. And Tyler ended up staying with him to keep him calm, make sure he was good. I ran back to that camp, got a guy named Nick Hoffman. He actually just moved to Yuma, and he's opened up a motorsports shop called 928X Motorsports. So he's going to be there working on all the sand toys, and you'll probably see Nick Hoffman or Dominic. I'm not sure what he goes by, but you'll probably see him around the Buttercup Sand Dunes, so just keep an eye out. Super nice guy. Anyway, he gave me his belt to tie around Jesse's leg so he can stop the blood. Put him in his side-by-side -side that was brand new and gave no fucks about it. Like, threw Jesse right in there, bleeding all over his seats. And got him back up to the front. The ambulance took him to the hospital. And we're going to jump to there because, yeah, I missed all of it. Last year, so. I'm oh, just, so he's like reserve, is that what they call it? Or? Yeah, I'm in reserves yeah. now, so but I uh, contract as well, so. Oh, okay, so. gotcha. I actually was just when I flew, I actually flew back. Uh, I had went back home to visit family, and we were okay. flying in. Um, pretty much the entire plane, except for probably maybe four of us, was a whole bunch of. Um, I was assuming they were Marines or uh, military support. They were coming to, for a week class, and then the next, second week they're here, they're going to go jump out of, I don't know, planes. Yeah. Helicopter something. So they, but none of them. Thanks for treating the dog. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's a whole. Lot. Yeah. Well, we can make a thing. What you put your face when you're about to nut? Oh shit. <laughs> Our uh, sand dune trip got cut a little bit short today. Uh, one of our buddies had a little accident, so His leg yeah, bit. it's time to fucking go bring the four wheelers back and be done for the day. We'll figure out something to do. We're back. Jesse didn't die, but I'm dead inside. <laughs> that was pretty scary. Yeah. Now we're driving. Put oh, I'm driving. A wee bit of a dent in the weekend, but we're still making it work and we're all having fun. Yeah. And the main thing is that we're we're, uh, we're coming out the desert now, so we go. Yeah, we're Jesse back now. out in the desert. We're, we're kind of around the dunes, so someone's feeling a little bit. I'm nervous. very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still a good time because we're with the bros. Okay, just another voice over here because the mic adapter for the GoPro Hero 5 and up sometimes glitches out and causes you to miss the audio. But anyway, what Tyler and I are talking about behind us is how TSA caused us to miss our flight because Tyler's diabetic and they have to swab his fingers and pat him down for whatever fucking reason. Anyway, they made us miss our flight. They wouldn't let us on. They locked the doors. They wouldn't give us a refund. So we had to get a hotel. Then we had to buy all new tickets the next day which were outrageously expensive because it was on the weekend. We didn't plan ahead. And it was just a clusterfuck. So just so you guys know what's going on, we'll skip ahead to that. What a fucking adventure. What a bullshit. <laughs> After being on the phone forever, we finally got somewhat of a refund for the bags, and now we're waiting for the bus to go to the hotel we're staying at tonight. We made it to the hotel, got checked in. This place is actually pretty nice. Jesse hooked us up with. It's haunted though, you can tell. <laughs> that was flipping. Jesse hooked us up with a pretty nice hotel. That has a pool and a hot tub, and the shuttle service is. The, the shuttle service is 24 hour, so we might go out on the town and have a little bit of fun. Because our flight tomorrow doesn't leave till 10. Oh, this is pretty sick. Oh, and they have a pool hot tub here. And we each get our own queen size bed, so that's pretty sweet. The weekend kind of got a little put down because of Jesse's injury, uh, but yeah, and us freaking the delay at the airport. So yeah, hopefully next trip it's a little better. But 
we're still making the best of it because that's what we do. 